Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wisniewski. I'm a chief analyst in Alpari Research and Analysis and this is daily analytical report. So half an hour webinar where I will tell you what's going on on the markets and we will try to look for decent trading uh, occasions. First, uh, we always have to start with the macro calendar. And with the macro calendar, you can see that we have some um, speeches from ECB members, we had a speech from Mario Draghi uh, which actually did not increase volatility on Euro uh, we didn't get any like uh, game changers uh, for Euro Euro um, today is getting uh, a bit stronger well not against dollar because dollar is stronger but against other currencies for example Apart from that, we got uh, average earnings, uh, including bonus uh, from uh, UK, which came better than expected, but the change was not so uh, big. And uh, that was a positive information for, Brit for British Pound and uh, GBP is uh, heading uh, higher. Uh, we will have a pack of data from the housing market uh, from US, uh, EIA crude oil stock exchange as always on Wednesday. And that would be it from the uh, from the calendar. Uh, but it's not only calendar. Uh, yesterday, uh, NAFTA ministers, uh, so Canada, Mexico, and US, uh, they agreed to extend negotiations into the 2018, which was a pos positive information. Well, especially for Mexican peso, Canadian dollar was a bit more resistant to this news, uh, but. Uh, it was uh, positive information for both uh, CAD and MXN, uh, so Mexican peso. Um, the most important news uh, that is still driving, uh, is still inf influencing the markets, uh, is uh, the uh, information about uh, John Taylor um, being uh, possibly the next uh, Fed chairman. Well, there is still a a long uh, way to that uh, but apparently he made a good impression uh, on uh, Donald Trump uh, he's a known hawk uh, so he, that information is strongly supporting American dollar and at the same time when American dollar is going uh, higher the precious metals are going much uh, lower now, also what we have here uh, well Catalonia has a um, deadline until Thursday, let's say, to back down from its secession uh, ambitions, right? So that's also kind of a risk in the, in the next few days. And this uh, week, we'll see how this situation will, uh, will uh, develop. Um, we do have a Congress in China. Uh, Xi Jinping uh, warned of uh, severe challenges uh, ahead of uh, for for China. Um, he laid out a roadmap um, to turn China into leading global power by 2050. Uh, so, well, as always, uh, China has a long-term uh, strategy. They are not focusing on the next five years, but they are focusing on the next 30 years which is very very wise and the chances that they will be well they are now a uh, second largest economy in the world and there are very big chances that we have very big chances that they will be this leading economy in 2050 but also we didn't get any like details about uh, about uh, that just overall uh, speech without any game changers and also we didn't see any uh, like bigger reaction on the market on uh, on the asian indexes after this uh, this uh, speech uh, as you can see we we do have this uh, um, talk from ecb we do have uh, this conference uh, in in frankfurt um, so uh, apart from uh, that uh, talks from ecb we'll have some fed speak uh, from uh, Dudley, uh, for example, and Kaplan is also about to speak in uh, this uh, this afternoon. 
Uh, so maybe not the busiest day from the fundamental point of view, but still a few important uh, events uh, we do have on the market. Now we can switch to the charts and on the charts we'll start with euro dollar i told you that euro is stronger well you do not see that uh, here but on instruments like euro to japanese yen it can be uh, seen clear clearly uh, but here is uh, it's the case of the american dollar being stronger how the situation looks like on euro dollar well that's getting interesting because we do have this uptrend we do have this flag right flag is a trend continuation pattern so it should result with a, a breakout of the upper line of the flag but before breaking the upper line of the flag we do have this resistance and this resistance so actually the buy signal will be created only here here there's no buy signal here there's no buy signal but in the same time that's huge left shoulder that's a head yes and that's a right shoulder so breakout of the 116.80 can be possibly very dangerous and should trigger a long-term sell signal at least aiming 38.2 Fibonacci which is uh, 240 pips lower okay so again to sum, uh, sum up we do have a bullish flag and in case of a breakout of the upline of the flag there will be a buy signal and we do have a bearish inverse head and shoulder formation where we will have sell signal here even if the price will be inside of the flag it will be breakout of the neckline uh, which would be very very negative so again we are here exactly in the middle 90 pips 100 pips higher buy signal 76 80 pips lower sell signal so five euro dollar is uh, getting interest uh, interesting because uh, well usually i do not find this pair interesting there are we have more uh, good trading setups on other instruments mm, so yes it looks looks promising and uh, well i don't care if the price will go up or down right i'm not economist i'm a trader and i want to earn on the volatility i don't care if we will have a stronger or weaker euro uh, what i want to see here is a is a movement is a legitimate movement without a false breakout possibly that i would be able to earn money on that and that's what you should be looking for as well so you don't want to mm, you don't want to uh, predict the future but you want to trade it okay that's the difference between economists and traders and actually look we do have this uh, head and shoulder on euro dollar and we do have this inverse head and shoulder on dollar index well it's not a big surprise because dollar index is like 70 percent of the american dollar of euro uh, here uh, so it's not uh, it's not a surprise but it's also very interesting uh, to see the situation here uh, where after breaking the uh, orange area we will have this inverse head and shoulder formation and a buy signal and after breaking actually i would wait for breakout of the yellow support not this pink line but yellow support so we are this close uh, to activate the buy signal we are this close to activate sell signal situation on euro dollar and dollar index very very similar right here we also have like uh, here is a, fl a fl uh, wedge because those lines are not parallel and here is a flag and now australian dollar mm, to american dollar where we do have false breakout above the horizontal resistance and a wedge uh, all that together well that's bearish wedge is also bearish so all that gives higher chances for uh, 
uh, for a downswing here on this instrument. Here is a silver and we can see how uh, precious metals, because I'm going to show you gold soon, were hit by this information about Hawk taking over the Fed uh, chairman position. Well, speculations about that. That's a false breakout above the horizontal resistance here. And that's the result of the false breakout. And now we are approaching 16.8 again. Because 16.8, this gray area, is a ultra important support and resistance in the past few months. March support. Uh, middle of May resistance. Then uh, end of June resistance. And uh, beginning of August resistance. Then second part of August support then support, then a resistance. You can see that better on H4 chart. Support, support, resistance, resistance, after the break of support and most probably like 99% chances it will be tested as a support here. And here we should wait for the price action because if we'll see a bullish reversal pattern like a hammer, engulfing or something to be continued, we can buy here. If we won't see a bullish pattern, uh, the next target will be here. So it does not look very good for the buyers because the price is dropping like a rock. That's what they say now. The uh, bulls climb, uh, go up with the stairs, and the bears take the lift very fast. Uh, in two days, they remove like one, two, three, four, five, five days of upswing, two days of downswing, and we are on the same levels. Gold, gold already broke an important support, which is this one. They also made a false breakout. There is a very beautiful combination of three important Fibonacci's, which I was telling you about yesterday. Uh, so there is no reason to uh, repeat that. Uh, we made a false breakout, then the price went lower. Used that support, but it failed eventually. And the price went lower. Used this support. The support failed eventually as well. And now there's we don't have any more important supports on the way, just this one, 38.2 or this one. So it's it's rather a wide area here where the bounce can happen and the gravity should, uh, should do the job. As you can see, we are making new lows, uh, new weekly lows. So that's why those price movements are choppy because it's very often like that when we go to the new territory. Mm, uh, the gravity should do the, its job and we should get to this gray uh, level eventually. Uh, like maybe, if not this week, well, probably it will be this week. Uh, or the next one, and that will be a good occasion uh, for a reversal because we'll be on a trend line. So, an interesting situation for gold. Euro to Japanese yen, that's a good one. Because yesterday we were telling you about the increased pressure on the support, but why we didn't enter with a, why we didn't say it's a good occasion to sell uh, now, and we waited for a panic order. Why? Because always support can result with an upswing, with a bounce, and we know that, and we know that, uh, and we try to teach you about this uh, principle of the technical analysis that uh, support works. So when the, even if the price is pushing on the support, instead of opening a trade here, you wait for the support to be broken because as long as the price is above the support, there is no sell signal. There is still a possibility that will bounce from the support. So that's why when you want to uh, sell and the price is still above the support, you should wait for the breakout of the support. And we uh, put here this um, 
idea for a pending order here. Actually, it's kind of a well, it's a descending triangle, uh, but a real descending triangle decline, so it's more of a like wedge or a pennant. Now we bounce from the lower line of this formation, now we are aiming the upper line of this formation, and maybe we will have a breakout soon. Here we can go both ways. Uh, breakout of the upper line triggers a buy signal. Uh, breakout of the lower line triggers a sell signal. Next one is American dollar to Canadian dollar. You can see that uh, this Canadian dollar gets stronger uh, thanks to this information about NAFTA. But that's also a very, very good trading occasion. Well, not yet, but we will have. We have few um, bullish factors, few bearish factors. And we are in a sideways trend, so we are waiting for the breakout. And the thing is that this support is proven as a strong support. Here and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. This resistance was, wasn't proved. Uh, pro uh, proven till yesterday. It was here, but we didn't know if this top will uh, be respected or not. Yesterday it was respected here, so now we know it's strong. And now we're waiting for a breakout. A uh, breakout of the resistance should trigger a strong buy signal, breakout of the support should trigger a strong sell signal. Now again, we are in the middle, we are 90 pips from uh, the buy signal, we are 100 pips from the uh, sell signal. So, there is no trading signal here yet. Well, maybe you want to guess if the price will go up or down, but trading is not about guessing, trading is about earning money. And you don't earn money on guessing, you earn money on trading the real movements. And the movement should happen should happen here eventually because everybody knows that there is a strong resistance, everybody knows that there is a strong support. And those who are selling have their stop losses here, those who are buying have their stop losses here. Activation breakout should activate those which should increase the momentum and we should see a nice movement. That's situation on American dollar to Canadian dollar. DAX made all time highs again. Um, party goes on, everybody's happy, European stocks are uh, outperforming. Not much to say, right? Positive sentiment all way long, all day long. Uh, British pound, uh, Japanese yen, British pound is recovering a little bit and here also we are uh, locked in a sideways trend and we are waiting for a breakout either of this horizontal support or this horizontal re resistance. This support is more important, was proven in a battle uh, here since uh, December 2016. Uh, the chance, well, we should defend it, but there's one uh, problem here that it's uh, this wedge. Wedge is a trend continuation pattern, so uh, it should continue this movement, this downswing. I can delete this here and here, or maybe I could adjust that a little bit better, like that. Okay, so we should defend that, but in case of uh, if the price would break this level, that can be a strong movement, that can be a strong downswing, like 450 pips. Uh, British pound to Australian dollar H4 chart is kind of dangerous for the buyers because of those two uh, ta uh, heads which show us that there was an attempt to go higher but um, sellers uh, created a, count a counter attack and actually here we do have an occasion for a pending order sell stop Sell stop will be activated once the price will get there and uh, the potential target for the sell stop order is the black line. Uh, so maybe let's do it like that. 
uh, sell stop here, stop loss here, 100 pips, potential target 500 pips, 5 to 1, uh, potential profit 5 times bigger than potential loss, well, that's fine by me, and if you ask uh, me about my opinion about that, uh, also it's kind of head and shoulder formation, left shoulder head and right shoulder, uh, that can be possibly a very nice trade here. I even will think about that on my live trading account. Bitcoin, look, yesterday we draw this uh, green line that we should get a decline aiming this horizontal support and that's what's happening, so it's good. Uh, Bitcoin uh, well, can finally move technically for the past few weeks. Uh, before that it was a bit too er early to use uh, technical analysis on it. Okay, so this area wouldn't be bad for a, a support, would it? Like $4,900 per one bit. This movement would not be a surprise at all, would be like more than expected. American dollar to Swiss franc, our uh, place from yesterday. Um, if the price would be here, that would be a buy signal and no, now the price is advancing higher. Uh, so actually we are fighting to create a buy signal here right now. Mm, so far on a daily chart, we do, uh, the price did not close above the downtrend line. So, so we have to watch out because they still have to, can be, um, the price can reverse, but it looks promising for the buyers. Oil is uh, creating kind of an ascending triangle formation so maybe we can have a bounce here bounce here and a eventual bullish breakout uh, which would not be a surprise in a current uh, current situation of uh, oil uh, in case of a breakout here the next possible target would be uh, somewhere here and that would be uh, almost 55 yeah 55 dollars per bar on wti oil right so mm, that's also an uh, occasion for panic order breakout here should trigger a movement to the gray area also nice risk to reward ratio in this case cable mm, cable broke uh, the lower line of the wedge defended that as a resistance and now they try to break the horizontal support here uh, i would say that uh, price closing uh, below this area uh, should trigger a movement of 120 pips to the uptrend line. Australian dollar to New Zealand dollar, no signal yet, we do have a small pennant. Well, actually that's a symmetric triangle and it's not so small because it was started at uh, the beginning of September. Mm, so, again, a lot of sideways trends, you know. You do have some good uh, occasions for breakouts. I like it. Bullish breakout here triggers buy signal. Bearish breakout here triggers sell signal. Simple as that. American dollar to Russian rubble. That's uh, interesting because we broke the lower line of the flag and the price went lower. Broke the horizontal support. Then used the horizontal support as a resistance. That's the beauty of the price action. Um, we have to remember that we are still above the subtrend line uh, but I would say that price closing here should be a good trading signal here to aim those lows on 50.5 and also kind of good risk to reward ratio stop loss here 50 pips uh, take profit here 120 pips And American dollar to police lot uh, after the breakout of uh, this uh, midterm uptrend line. Uh, what we do have here is a pennant. Uh, pennant should result in a transition, and trend here is bearish. So uh, that formation should result in the price going to 351. And euro to British pound. 
that's what I said that euro is climbing higher but you cannot see that on euro dollar uh, you can see that on other instruments after the break of the lower line of the wedge here the price failed to test the uptrend line if the price does not want to go uh, down probably it will go up the next potential target is 50% FIBO and American dollar to Mexican peso we told you that this um, extension of negotiations uh, to 2018 in NAFTA helped Mexican peso we were expecting that but uh, I'm not satisfied because well the price could move a little bit higher before you know you, you don't have influence on that when this uh, fundamental news uh, will be published but it would be nice so nice from the technical point of view if we would have reversal on the green area right that would be uh, on the blue area that would be a uh, touch of 38.2 uh, and uh, the previous stops that would be absolutely beautiful but uh, they dropped they went lower much faster well much faster a little bit faster uh, that wasn't a big miss no, well at least we warned you about the possible take profit action on american dollar to mexican peso when it happened mm, uh, so it's still good mm, but i'm i wish it happened like a bit higher because i'm a fan of technical setups and well s p 500 you know that's a huge optimism here uh well channel up is positive enough alone right and a bullish breakout from the channel up which is not actually surprising on s p 500 because it was happening uh many times but bullish breakout from the channel up formation that is just wow uh, huge optimism here right that they in channel up the price is still going higher right but they want to go higher so much that they they didn't even let the correction happen they just rammed through the uh, through the uh, resistance here and okay fair enough new all-time highs why not uh, 2500 is that enough maybe 2600 maybe 3000 why not only i think that sky is the limit for s p 500 right now and the sky is very high right thank you very much my friends for attending daily analytical report that was the last instrument as you can see today we do have a lot of like ending orders and uh, sideways trends which should result in a nice movement so uh, you have to stay sharp in the next few days because we are about to get some nice trading setups on the market possibly long lasting setups like few days or a few weeks uh, again thanks very much and uh, visit, visit our twitter account or our website alpari.news for more